comes to custom fitting golf clubs, players often concentrate on their irons and drivers and forget their putter. Iona paid a visit to Ping's Arizona HQ to address the issue. Uh, let's walk over here and pick out a putter to start with the, uh, the fitting process. So we're going to put eye ping on your putter here. Oh, cool. So this app's been collecting data about the five putts yes, I just hit. Exactly. So it's uh, it's just measuring like, consistency. So eye ping is all based off consistency. So this number right here, this plus three point one, that's your consistency score, which is on the same scale as a handicap. Right. So very, very good there. You see some iPing leaderboards over there, which is the highest consistency scores uh, in iPing. So you have a very, very consistent stroke. So everything in green would be consistent, yellow would be moderate, red would be inconsistent. So everything's in the green, which is good. So your first uh, category that we're looking at is your closing angle. So that 4.9 degrees, that's just measuring how much face rotation you have from the start of the downswing back to impact. So we would fit for three categories of putters. So putters that are straight arc, that are going to be more face balanced. Putters that are slight arc, that are going to have a little bit of toe hang. And then putters that are strong arc, that are going to have a lot of toe hang. Right. 4.9 degrees, that's right in the middle of the bell curve in terms of rotation. So something more like an answer style with some toe hang is going to match up nicely with your stroke type. Great. Um, your impact angle, this number here, that's a, just a relative measurement from where you are at setup compared to where you are at impact. Sure. So that number doesn't necessarily need to be at zero as long as it's consistent. So you're very consistent on how you aim it. Really what that means for your stroke is your 2.7 degrees close relative to your setup point. So a little bit of a right aimer. Uh, lie angle, that 21.7, our standard lie angle is at, at 20 degrees. That looks pretty good. So you are showing about a degree flat, but we're trying to make it nice and level there and your contact's great. And then your Shafley number of negative 1.1, that is measuring this plane. Sure. So where your hands are at impact. So that just means that you have a little bit of a forward press, a degree forward press. So um, we would like to see your dynamic loft, which is a combination of that shaft lane and loft your putter to be around three degrees. Yeah. So with that being said, our standard lofts on our putters are three degrees. You have a little bit of a forward press of a degree. So probably adding you know, close to a degree from our standard get you to four degrees of loft, get you at that three degrees of dynamic loft, right. which is going to help out with your speed control. Um, it's going to help out with your launch angle, getting mm -hmm. some forward spin right off the face. So. And is that for every kind of grass, or do you change that dynamic loft for different kinds of grass? Yeah, so um, if you're playing on slower, grainier surfaces, you might need a little bit more loft because the ball is sitting in a little bit of a deeper depression. Uh, if faster surfaces like bent grass or something that doesn't have a lot of grain in it, you could maybe take a little bit of loft off because mm -hmm. it's just going to be a faster surface and that ball's not sitting on in the depression as much. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So yeah, we do change that accordingly if faster or slower surfaces. Yeah. Right. So for those longer greens, you want that ball rolling across the top of the blades? Yeah, of grass. getting it out of that depression right. and rolling. So you might need a little bit more loft to, hap to have that happen. So is this the right putter for me or do we need to find yeah, another so that one? That looks pretty good. That style, that slide arc model is going to be good for your stroke. So Dominic, in Scottsdale I was fitted for this ping answer. Okay. And you're just going to confirm it with this eye ping, is that yeah, right? Yeah, we've got the eye ping app on there. It just measures a few key variables into your stroke and that will give us some information on how we want to set your putter up and make sure you've got exactly what you need and the type of putter that you have. So it will measure things like the, the face rotation, the speed of your stroke and of course how much shaft lean you have, which is very important to deciding exactly how much loft you need on the putter. And how many degrees of loft does this putter have? That putter is currently set at our standard which is around three degrees and then we'll measure that shaft lean to see how you deliver the ball at impact the club at impact and then we can see exactly what you need to give yourself the best chance of holding a putt. okay great let's give it a bash so we're going to hit five parts all identical parts just focus on trying to get uh, exactly the same speed and line and then we can measure and see what happens okay ready to go All the same.
We can see on here that you have a 3.6 degrees of rotation in your stroke, which for us would fit into a slight arc putter. So this putter, as we, you were fitted in Phoenix, is correct. It has a slight arc there. And that's an answer style putter. So that shows that it's very accurate. Your tempo is very good. Uh, and the amount of shaft lean is, there is a little bit of shaft lean on there, but it would suggest that you would need a little bit more loft. So this putter is currently at three degrees. Uh, you would need four degrees of loft. Right, uh, so we're going to add one. We're going to add one degree of loft, and that will give you the best chance of, of being uh, getting a good roll on the ball. Yeah, so am I right in thinking when you do strike the ball on the putting green, you're trying to put a small amount of topspin on the ball? Yes, you are. Yes, so you, you want are. to, almost hitting it on an attack angle of zero, would that be right? Yeah, we would fit the putter to how that player uh, hits the putt, but generally speaking, you want the ball to have enough loft on it to go up and over so it can start rolling. Yeah. If there's not enough loft on the putter, generally you'll see it going into the green and bouncing, and when it goes into the green, it can go off in all different directions. And sometimes, I think, what I tend to see is if someone's on the fringe of a green, when the grass is obviously a little, little bit longer, that's a key time to see. If they're not getting a smooth roll from that fringe area, you might be an area to look at is that loft, at, loft of the club. Yeah, because the grass is a bit longer. The, lo the grass is a little longer. It's more likely to deviate offline. Yeah. Or if you're playing on a lot of grain, you get the same sort of reaction. So yeah. you need a little bit more loft. I've got that slight arc in my putting stroke. What do other people have? Is it straight or...? There's a straight, which is anything really between three and a half degrees of rotation. That's the rotation of the putter that way. And if you were, if you were under three and a half degrees, we generally recommend you would go towards a face balance putter or, or a mallet type putter, which really, that putter wants to go straight back and straight through. Whereas your, putt, your stroke has a little bit more rotation in it, and this putter naturally wants to do that on its own. So if you can match up what you're trying to do and what the putter wants to do, that gives you the best chance of repeating. Uh, and if you can repeat well, then you've got every chance of holding a putt. That's what I want to do.